Hello readers and here is Sofa Reader for the wrap up of July. So I read some books in July. I uh, read uh, a lot of not only <laughs> not only I mean um, I read a lot of physical books but I also like to read audiobooks. I like to read also ebooks on Kindle or on the iPad on the Scrib app. So you can count on that. Not every book that I read is going to be on this pile. It's going also to be on the images uh, here near me. So um, I'm going to talk about the physical first. And this is the pile. It's like I'm going to take a slide. No, that's the pile. So, and we are going to start with the king, king come first, and this one is Gunslinger. So that's the first one on the Dark Tower uh, saga, that's, uh, it was uh, seven volumes, but now it's uh, going to the eight, and maybe he's going to launch another one. Anyway, so um, the Gunslinger is the first one, it was adapted to, um, soon to be a major picture. Don't like these tags, but yeah, anyway. Um, and it was nice. It was, yeah, it is the opening of the, the whole saga. And I think he's going to present us a lot of characters. And maybe that's why it can be a little boring. So, but yeah, I gave it three stars. And I'm, I'm going to continue this series a volume a month. So, and this one it was a reread. I uh, read it in audiobook. It is Quiet by Susan Kane. Uh, it was a nice book. I liked it very much, but the thing that I um, noticed also in the audiobook, but uh, at the time it went a little through because I really liked the whole introspective or the whole introvert uh, perspective on the whole theme on um, speaking out loud and the uh, the whole how to uh, lead the stuff on your own terms and your own way, being an introvert in an extrovert world. And maybe I was too dazzled about it, but now it seemed a little... It was too much on the Rosa Parks. I think it was uh, nice and she was a, a, a very nice introvert that made uh, a great impact like an introvert should do. But man, there are a lot of other introverts in the world. But yeah, I will explain a little more um, on a review. Uh, but yeah, that's what I felt a little. But anyway, I give the five stars because the book is amazing. It's yeah, it's great. So I have read it. Um, it's a graphic memoir. So I live in Germany, as I told you, and uh, I was very curious about this one because she's talking about the the perspective of um, a German immigrant because uh, she went to the USA with her family um, it was like in the 60s um, to the USA and she was a child like it was not like an option not to go with her parents um, and yeah it was not an option to go to not to go to the USA so to say so yeah um, then she went from Germany Kaiser Lautern to the USA and then she lived there and she's talking about the whole um, in the 60s like the discrimination of being a German because of the Second World War and then she's going to speak a lot um, about memorabilia then I'm going to make um, a review about it and she makes um, a lot of memories from other people it's not only her perspective it's other stuff and curiosities about Germany and because um, I like to know the country where I'm living in, even though I know much or little, little about it, um, I like this uh, this perspective and uh, it deserves the five stars. It's very good, really. So, and then I've read um, the story of literature. 
by uh, Alberto Manguel. Uh, he's an Argentinian author. I never know how, how should I say his name or Alberto Manguel or Manguel. I never know. So anyway, uh, I'll put here a cover in English uh, so that you can uh, you can see. Uh, it's a very very entertaining book. Um, Alberto Manguel is uh, th theoretical. He makes a lot of a, a lot of theory about images and literature. That's a thing that I love so much. The whole mix of image and literature, and uh, it, he makes it. He's going to tell you stuff like uh, boring stuff in a very um, cool and uh, not boring at all way, because he's going to tell you like. Um, like you're a person from the 21st century uh, is going to talk to you from author to reader and that makes it very personal and very dear um, and yeah it's a great read yeah this month was a month packed with uh, great reads <laughs> so and this one this one is very funny because usually I'm the person that doesn't like to read I don't like to read stuff about rich people <laughs> I don't like to read I'm, I'm, not, I'm all about uh, feminism and uh, anti-racism and all about um, let's be equal and all. I'm not a communist but I, um, I like this whole equality thing uh, and yeah I don't mind being poor surrounded by books with being poor <laughs> I don't mind that um, I love to to be the way I am, and I uh, just I I never uh, envied the nobility or noble people or something, and uh, I never wanted to uh, know about the noble people, uh, even though some of them are artists and writers and all that. But yeah, but this one was um, kind of funny. So uh, Julian Barnes going to to tell you about the man on this picture here and he's going to um, tell you who this man is and he's going to talk about uh, his noble title and all that so that's the man he's going to talk about this guy um he's going to talk about the stuff that he lived through europe through paris uh, the people that he met like oscar wilde and uh, a lot of other uh, Marie Curie and uh, a lot of other people and it's uh, he he makes also uh, Julian Barnes makes a lot of um, humorous commentaries um, he makes uh, fun of them not being offensive and not being um, an asshole so um, he's going to make uh, a lot of funny commentaries and I uh, and really I, I loved it so much because of that because it was uh, it was funny it was really funny um, and yeah um, I'm going to make a video about it it's going to be uh, also funny <laughs> and I hope you liked it so and then I've read the last one of the great coats I think it's the last one because it kind of says that he's good they are going to come back one day Oh god, no, please no. Uh, so it was a nice series, but it's not the series that I want to read again and again and again and again. And uh, there's going to have like 10 volumes or some shit. Uh, I'm so sorry. No, um, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice series. It was a nice end. It was an okay ending and fine. Fine. Okay, fine. Leave it there. Because uh, the thing is that our writers, uh, fantasy writers, or they they pick up a series and they never end it yeah george martin i'm talking to you i'm still waiting for the final of the game of thrones like 14 years or something yeah um or they they will um last it to the last drop and they are going to continue the series and continue the series and go with the series and another uh, trilogy and another and sequel and another oh man no I like the sequel, but I hope it's going to stay here. But it was a nice trilogy packed with adventure based on the uh, three musketeers um, from 
Alexandra Duma and uh, it's very nice very adventure very Netflixy very ne entertaining it's uh, you're going to uh, be here a while like uh, with the jokes with the irony with the the quirky personalities of these guys and girls um, it's very very nice so uh, don't lose this series there are four books I'm going to pick up the other three so these are the four is that annoying yeah is that annoying but yeah what can i do um those are the four books and uh, i'm going to make an um, in-depth review about them also and yeah missing the books that i've read in ebook and audiobook so um i've also read pirate women and it's uh, very nice because i'm i'm building like i want to build a podcast and also a video talking about the invisible women and so i'm going to put together the invisible women book and um, uh, also this one the pirate women and some two other two so that i can um, talk about some women in history that were a little more invisible and this whole pirate women it was very very nice because uh, you never I never knew that there were so much uh, pirates pirates that were women too and because uh, people they were they were like mixed up they they didn't wear like uh, long dresses or something for sure because they were pirates they had to um, use comfortable clothes for sure uh, and yeah that's why they uh, they kind of sometimes they got confused with uh, men and yeah that's uh, that's one of the reasons that they were a little invisible and sometimes they adopted like another uh, identity or something just to make life easier for them being a pirate man than being a woman so the other one that i can talk to you about is the find your artistic voice it's a very nice book um it's like a book with interviews I, i've read it on script uh, it's a book with interviews uh, like 10 artists and then she's going to talk about the theme and then relate it with an artist and then this artist is going to answer some questions and then she's going to talk about um, stuff like artist's block uh, she's going to talk about uh, uh, how to be self-employed and all like all our questions like self-employed artists or designers um, and it's very nice if you are learning um, any art skills and if you are learning any artistic skills or if you are already an artist uh, maybe also you're going to to enjoy uh, some of the insights that those artists are going to provide you and so uh, take the leap take the leap it was um, a book that was very boring so i am reading also books about uh, creative entrepreneurial stuff and this one take the leap was one of the suggestions from script but uh, i found it a little boring i'm so sorry <laughs> it just couldn't couldn't uh it was very very boring i gave it like three or two stars i don't know um yeah because the thing is that um i think it should be a little more engaging because if you're talking about marketing uh, entrepreneurial stuff and especially for people that are not marketeers and uh, like me i'm not uh, i'm not in marketing at all and it's not my uh, my area even so i hear a lot of stuff but for the sake of the of my design and just to know some stuff but um yeah i think it could be better could be a lot better and yeah that was my wrap up for july i hope you liked it uh, i hope you share it and yeah uh, comment below uh like button i'm not used to this youtube stuff but i'll get used to it but yeah anyway uh like subscribe and uh, make a sofa flicks so uh till next one Bye.